little bit about uh, Israel and the fact that I and you know, look, you say whatever you want. I don't really care anymore um, what people say about me. I am speaking what I believe is the truth. Um, do your own homework. You disagree. I can't tell you how I pray every day I'm wrong. But I think Israel is being set up by many in our own country and in this administration. Um, it doesn't look good. And I, I see a trend of a couple of things. And Dory, if you don't mind, I just want to run down a couple of things. May 15th is what in Israel? May 15th? May 15th. This year, I don't know when Independence Day is, but are you making yeah, reference to that? May 15th. Historic, historically, yeah. It is. yeah, historically, May 15th is an important day for Independence Day, right? Yes, of course, yes, of okay. course. We use a Hebrew date. That's why I was yeah. confused for a moment. Go ahead. I, I, I didn't bring my Jewish calendar. I usually right. use that at home. The, uh, right. um, so May 15th. There are several things that are happening in May. One is the flotilla right around that time period. Um, Facebook had one of their big mass protests happening, I think it was on May 15th, and then that was taken down, and another one that was to march and take the land from Israel. Um, and this is what's on the uh, website, Judgment Day will be brought upon us only once the Muslims have killed all the Jews. Um, and then there's another date that keeps going around, and that is in September. I fear there is something happening here in May and in September. Do you, am I crazy on this or? Feel well, free to say yes, dates. everybody does. I'll give you three dates. April, as I said before, the quartet wants to uh, determine that Israel must withdraw to the 67 lines, which in Jerusalem would leave the entire old city, the Church of the Holy Sepulcher, the Temple Mount and the Western Wall on the Palestinian side, ultimately in the hands of Hamas. So that's April. Holy cow. May, as you, as you uh, correctly point out, is another Turkish flotilla. Mm -hmm. Now, the flotilla is uh, something which we saw in the past is not just Turkish. On the Mavi Marmara, the main ship last year, there were members of the Muslim Brotherhood from all over the Middle East. Uh, we also have so that's a second element. People from the radical left here in America as well. Correct, the Red Green Alliance. And then you get to September. And what you see Palestinian diplomatic strategy being today is to avoid negotiations with Israel, despite the concessions we've made, and to go for a unilateral declaration of statehood. Let me, let, that could explode the Middle East. Let me ask you this. Uh, am I right to say, either of you guys, all three of you guys, are dates important in the Middle East, especially to the Islamic world, to Islamic terrorists? Dates are important, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. September 2011. It's what? The 10th anniversary, right, of 9-11. September 9-11. It seems to me that might be an important month for us to um, watch and see what happens. You were going to say something, Pastor, before I got up? Uh, <clears throat> just tagging on to what the ambassador said, if the United States of America allows the United Nations to dictate that there is going to be a Palestinian state, then all of the democratic nations in the world are at risk. Because if they, the United Nations, are permitted to dictate to Israel that this Palestinian state now exists, Israel is a sovereign and free democracy. They have uh, the democratically elected leaders and if we allow that democracy to be dictated to by the United Nations, what think, why do we think as Americans that the United Nations will not in turn try to dictate to us? Well, I, why, don't, well, think, see, I don't think anybody does think that. I mean, they, I think, they can say, look, you got California from the Spaniards, give it back. You got Texans from the Mexicans, give it no. back. You got Florida from the Seminole Indians, give it back. Where does that stop? Okay, hang on, I gotta take a quick break. I was reading this um, until, honestly, until about four o'clock in the morning. Um, how old is this, Pastor? Uh, four years old. This is one, this is an important book for you to read in defense of Israel. Read this book and find out where you stand. I stand with Israel. Back in a minute.
America, I want you to stay with me uh, over the uh, summer. We have a lot going on, and uh, I hope to be talking to you about some things specifically that you can do um, about Israel. And I would ask that you would help us make this a global movement. We're with Rabbi Joseph uh, Potasnik, Pastor John Hagee, and Ambassador Dory Gold. And I want to go to Barbara from Vermont. Barbara. Hi. Hi. You have a question? Yes, I do, and it's for the rabbi. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, uh, I sense a disconnect between American Jews and the Israeli Jews, and I was wondering if you can explain that and if you see a change happening. I think there is a gap, uh, and I think, frankly, we have done a bad job, many of us in positions of leadership, in terms of exciting our young people about Israel. Uh, I have a son who's 23 years old. If all I talk to him about is victimhood, is pain, is suffering, he is going to say to me, Dad, why should I be Jewish? Is there any joy in being Jewish? And I think one of the mistakes we make is not talking enough about this Jewish pride, about yeah. the accomplishments of Israel. I tell you, we have friends here. We need friends. Pastor Hagee has gone to Israel 27 times, 27 trips, not to mention all of the other support he generates. Glenn Beck speaks out for Israel. We need to form stronger alliances, but we need to get that message across that Israel has done much, and we need to stand with Israel in a positive way, not just the painful but part, I'm, but the positive but part. I, I'm no, I love this. I'm known as an Jew-loving anti-Semite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how that's even no. possible. I mean, I am targeted by the, the left uh, and the Jewish left like nobody's business. How is, where is that split? What, what happens? I wish I could give you a rational answer. Um, maybe we need to have mediations here between you and the left. Maybe <laughs> I'll, I'll be the negotiator for you. Uh, I don't, but I, but I do think we, we are not making a good enough case uh, as to uh, the strength of Israel and the spirit of Israel. I can tell you this, I met recently with the Japanese ambassador mm -hmm. And he said to me, I want to thank you and thank your people. You were one of the first countries to respond to the tsunami and the earthquake in Japan. Mm -hmm. Now, how many people know that in our community that Israel was there with all of the problems be besieging us? Someone said we have more problems per square inch than any other you know, oh country in the world, right? Oh, yeah. And yet we're there. We're there for Turkey. We're there for all the other countries. We don't get that message across enough, and let I me, think, therefore, people don't respond enough. Let, let me ask you this, um, uh, Pastor, that um, it, it is amazing. Is there any other, in history, is there any other country that went away, played such a huge role, went away, was prophesized that would go away, and then come back and play a role? It's the size of a postage stamp, and really, you might as well put the axis of the earth right through the Temple Mount. The whole world spins, it seems. Has there ever been any other country like this? No, and it's the size of a postage stamp right now. I'm telling you <laughs> that in time, yeah. uh, whenever Messiah comes, and the rabbi and I disagree on who he is, <laughs> but when Messiah comes... I want to comes, be there with you. Yeah. We'll, vouch, we'll vouch for each other. It's good. One of us, <laughs> yeah, Back it's going to be a great <laughs> nation. Back we in would, a minute. Final minutes here with uh, Rabbi Potasnik, Pastor Hagee, and uh, Ambassador Dory Gold. And let me go to uh, Kenneth from Florida. Yeah, I had a question basically for anybody. Uh, other than pray for Israel, is there anything that we can do to make Obama change his course on Israel? Let me start with the Ambassador. Ambassador. Well, you know, I don't want to get into American domestic politics Got as it. a former Israeli <laughs> diplomat. However, I will say there are fundamental principles that have been part of American policy for many years, and I outlined some of them. You know, we don't need to have the territories of the Bible, though the Bible is our source of inspiration. It's a source of the inspiration of the pioneers who established Israel. But we do, we are entitled to defensible borders to keep our country safe. I will tell you. We need a firm commitment on that. And I believe that our protection of Jerusalem is not just good for the Jewish people or the people of Israel. It's good for the world. Thank Let's you. keep Jerusalem whole. Dory, thank you very much. Um, I will tell you this. I talked to Benjamin Netanyahu a few years ago when I was on the other network, and um, he said to me, we have a right to live, and that is true. Rabbi. We teach our young people the difference between decency, indecency, evil and good. I simply say, 
Look at what's going on in the world. Look at Israel. Stand with the good. Stand with the decent. And let's stand together. It's amazing how clear it is. Mm -hmm. Is it clear to everybody good and evil? Yeah. And, and are you amazed? Do you stand next to people and say, what the heck is yes. wrong with yes. you? Yes. Pastor Lynn, in February 2006, we organized Christians United for Israel, which is a national Christian organization that now has over 600,000 leaders who once a year go to Washington, D.C. to interact with every senator and congressman on behalf of Israel. July 18th, 19th, and 20th, we're going to be in Washington. You are going to be our speaker on the 19th for a night to honor Israel. We're having nights to honor Israel all over the United States, 40 events every month across the United States to benefit Israel, practical ways to impact public policy in behalf of the state of Israel is putting shoe leather to your faith. Would, um, 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 worth your time, America, I, I will be there. I, I will tell you that he didn't tell me that American politicians would be there. Otherwise, I'm not sure. They're not coming. Oh, no, we're, they're there. Yeah. Oh, they're, yeah. they're going then I'll to, honor my agreement. Now they know you're going to be there. They won't be there. We're They'll going go there, there the there. next day. <laughs> All right. We'll be back in just a minute. Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, God will not hold us guiltless. Not to speak is to speak, not to stand is to stand. There is a clear line between good and evil, and it is becoming more clear each and every day. I urge you, do your own homework. Find out where the good is and stand there. From New York, good night, America.